Legend of Zelda is a vast addition to modern Zelda games. I've spoken many times with their insidious features. I mean, really, a sprawl back of Ganon not being a Zelda game? That's unheard of, right? Well, I don't question the big magic beast and tough guy, and but we're talking about puzzles, boss battles, whole new bash world. This game have what it takes to be the next good Zelda game. Let's find out, shut up babies! I love anything that rhymes Zelda. Pull a block to make something imaginary appear. But this blew my mind. I mean, let's take Twilight Princess, for example. You start off going to Dark Wolf form and explore. This time is different around with the same generic spells. Like crying purry purrs. Actually not. Red potion on yourself, blue in the green, it's the same in their back. But there are new additions as well. As upgrade your shields, upgrade your weapons. Ooh! Exciting! Yes. And it's not like easy difficulty like Twilight Princess. You get linked to the past. So-called difficulty. There you go. Another hard Zelda masterpiece. I mean, the fucking puzzles are hideous to learn. And remember, they're just raging with small directical mazes and plagiarizing seekerasm thoughts. How do I know that? Well, if you slay, you fight, you capture, you help, be part of this amazing tracking experience. I mean, Ganon is probably gonna fucking throw a fit like Garam is creepier than him and it's a fucking tool sometimes. I mean, bang me another villain, Nintendo. We see Ganon too much, you know. Overall, the challenge factor is great with the plaque room of dust as we spit out cussing villaging worlds out of our assholes and mouths. We know we're going to get mad over this high trolling masterpiece because the boss rush mode should make you impress. I'm still trying to beat their time trials and fuck, so much content in one. The game's basically a bonus Twilight Princess, but with better sword motion controls. Man, I thought I was a legendary swordsman as Link. And I'm just a random cracked up dummy. Okay, comedian. Fuck Jenna Marbles. Anyway, beside that, the controls are well done and fun. Let the happy gamers be happy, because this game blows a train for a lot of Call of Duty players. Well done, Nintendo. Anyways, the nunchuck is like anything like blocking your shield, for instance, or rolling out of water, or in water, which is fucking epic in my video game old school style book. Trust me, it will be released. Not me making some damn Zelda cookies! Mom! It's just a layout of creativity. I mean, lower the fame or resource in Twilight Princess is something we all enjoy. And that's going to rocket our ships as we play some more. Um, the details is like an underwater painting, like taking soap of Mario 64. But making it more vibe and detail. Let me tell you, your damn scenes are rocking! Stand out parts in that game, just like Rayman Origins. I mean, scattering on the edges, water, aerial forests, and weedy mushrooms. Pluckering springing dust, maybe a hell sand ship. Maybe other things I haven't seen before in Zelda history. The graphics are art, not HD. Just art. Stop and play the game, Halo Fanboys! Or I'm gonna get that big fat Goron. And he's gonna make a playable character for Halo. And then he's gonna fuck your mama with the dick stock! And a big ground pound. Good job, Tubby! Difficulty of the game is hard in some areas. Not really a judge them in this game where falling rain or trapping spikes splinter you to death after you beat the dungeon. Fucking assholes! This is not a link to the past, but closer markers. The puzzles can be shaping parts of your head, or they can be out of your misguiding brain. Some of these you have to think and look back where Zelda was pop were from therefore. The bosses are easy, some are normal, the final one's gonna play with you till you die with your skin off, and the game is epic. I can't say no anymore about the challenge. The game didn't have any side quests, and the bosses were sometimes bland and boring art designs. But the rest is a 10.0 for me. Your style to improvise game with tons of features, characters, stupid glimpsing comedy moments, and let me tell ya, a hard mode is even available. Now go write your Call of Duty games off a cliff, play this, and try for selection for the Brutal Mash reviews. Buys and happy fun fuck 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 fucking fuck back your fuck 